the tower he's talking about is the power tower. And he can get there if he's one of the two fastest tonight. Well, that could be really important. His two Colorado buddies, Goers and Albright, may not make it into the top 12. But if Jake wins on the power tower, he would save them, and they'd go to the semifinals. So you know they're watching this run closely, as is Jake's family, including his parents in South Dakota, his girlfriend, Carissa, who's in Colorado. Jake likes to go fast anyway, and he can save his buddies. You know he's going to let it fly here. Well, look at him just flying across lunatic ledges. One move for oh, He's pulling out. Ethan Swanson currently with the fastest time in a minute four, but Murray's already on the third obstacle in under 20 seconds. But keep in mind, Daniel Gilstool to come, and he is a speed demon. Jake knows this. Oh, no hesitation. Right through it. Half-like reflexes. <laughs> yes. Under 30 seconds here to the fifth obstacle. He's gunning for the fastest time. Now, this is where he's got to go up if he wants that speed. Come on. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Please don't forget to breathe. He's got something to prove here. Oh, look at him reaching over. 20 seconds left. Drops down. Mm. Will he go for the mega wall? Oh, oh, my. Oh, no, no, he won't. He's going to go for the top. at 54.5 seconds. Uh, sweet. Well, that means Jake is in line to go to the power tower. If he wins there, he'll get his two Colorado buddies into the semifinals with him. Yeah! Watch him swing straight across Little Tick Legends. That's the best we've seen anyone on that obstacle. And he just kept running. Finishes in under a minute. A perfect performance for Jake Murray.